Welcome everyone to 10 minutes math. Today we will cover area and volume of cone. This is our cone. H is the height of the cone. R is the radius of the bottom circle. And S, L is the slant height. The volume of the cone is 1 over 3 by R squared H. R again is the radius of the bottom circle. And H is the height of the cone. The slant height, which is this height, is this length of this height, is equal to square root of h squared plus r squared. h is uh, the height of the cone and r is the radius of the bottom circle. For the surface area of the cone, the surface area of the cone is the surface area of the bottom circle and the surface area of the curved, uh, the curved area, or the curved surface area of the cone, which will be by r squared, by r squared, which is the surface area of the circle, plus by r l, which is the curved surface area, curved surface area. Okay, let us start now the exercise. Let us start to read the question. The, the diagram shows a cone radius is 5 cm. So the R is equal to, this R is equal to 5 cm. And the slant height is 13. This is the slant height, which is L. Calculate the curved surface area of the cone. So we need only the curved surface area of the cone, not all the uh, area of the cone. Here, the curved surface area A of a cone, radius R and slant height L, A is equal to pi R L. So, it's a direct question. A will equal to the pi multiplied by radius is 5, so 5 multiplied by L, which is 13. So, so the area will be pi by 5 by 13 will be equal to 204.2 204.2 let us go ahead calculate the perpendicular height h of the cone he need this h you remember fissa horse so l squared is equal to h squared plus r squared so h squared will equal to l squared minus r squared so h will be equal to square root of 13 squared minus 5 squared so let us go ahead square root of 13 square minus 5 square equal to 12 so the height equal to 12 centimeter calculate the volume of the cone if the volume of the cone with radius r and the height h v is 1 over 3 by r squared h so the volume 1 over 3 by r squared 5 squared divided by h is 12 so by multiplier by 5 square multiplier by 12 divided by 3 so the answer 314.2 314.2 centimeter cube write your answer in part a which is this answer in cubic meter Give your answer in the standard form. So cubic meter. So this is cubic centimeter. So this is centimeter cube. We need to convert into meter cube. So it will be three three one four point two multiplied by one over one hundred cube. Okay. 
so let us start to find this answer so three one four point two divided by one hundred cube so it will be three point one four multiplied by ten power minus four so three point one four multiplied by ten minus four yeah let us go ahead to another question here is the same cone which is 513 and the height now we calculate it equal to 12 and this is the sector again all the cones is consist of a, a sector or created by a sector when you, you convert this sector A to B you will have the circle at the bottom and O will be the head of the cone so the perimeter of this circle you see this is the bottom circle of the cone the perimeter of this circle will be equal to the arc length of the arc so the perimeter of the circle will equal to the arc length so a perimeter of cone circle will equal to the length of arc the length of the arc and again this slant length this slant length will be the radius of the arc the radius of the arc so the radius of the arc will equal to 30 again this line here is this line so 13 is here the radius of the sector will equal to the slant height of the cone so perimeter of the cone perimeter of the cone which is 2 pi r of the circle so it will be 2 pi multiplied by 5 so it's a 10 pi this 10 pi will equal to the length of the arc length of the arc the length of the arc l of arc is equal to remember theta divided by 360 multiplied by 2 pi r of the arc r of the arc so the length of the arc is 10 by the length of the arc is 10 by so let us write 10 by is equal theta divided by 360 multiplied by 2 by the radius of the arc now is 30 multiplied by 30 this by will go with this by so let us find theta now theta 10 multiplied by 360 divided by 6 which is 2 multiplied by sorry divided by 2 multiplied by 13 2 multiplied by 13 so theta is equal 138 point 46 138.46 degree this is our set okay so again remember remember what remember that the slant of the slant lens or the slant height or l or s whatever the the when you have the question is 13 here is equal to the radius of the sector the radius of the sector and the perimeter of the cone perimeter of the cone is equal to the arc length of the sector arc length of the sector let us see another question the sector used to make a cone this sector make a cone 
Calculate the base radius here R. Calculate the base radius here R. Again, the perimeter of the perimeter of this circle is the arc length. The arc length. So arc length is equal to theta divided by 360 multiplied by 2 pi r. R of what? R of r of the the sector. So it will be. 135 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 by multiplied by the radius which is 12. This L of the arc, this arc length was equal to the perimeter of cone circle. So it will be 2 pi r. Okay. So I know this R, I don't know this R. So this is the radius that he want. So let us start to make our calculation. 135 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 12. So it will equal to 9 pi. So the length of the arc, this part, is equal to 9 pi. This 9 pi now, 9 pi will equal to 2 pi r. This pi will go this pi, so r is equal to 4.5 centimeter. 4.5 centimeter. Okay? Now calculate the height of the cone. Calculate the height of the cone again. L squared is equal to H squared plus R squared. So H squared So H squared is equal to L squared minus R squared. So H is equal to square root of 12 square minus 4.5 square. So the answer will be square root of 12 square minus 4.5 square will equal to 11.12. 11.12. Eleven point twelve. This is the height of the cone. The height of the cone. Let us go ahead to another question. The diagram shows a planet plot. It's uh, it it's made or uh, made by removing a small cone from the large cone and adding a circle base. So we have a cone. Okay, we remove the part, the small part of this cone and we add the small circle at the bottom. This is uh, the cross section of the planet plot. This is how it looks like the cross section we got here exactly. Find L. We need to find the big L of the slab. This question is a similar question. The small triangle here is a similar to the big triangle at the top. So we can say that the small radius over the big radius is equal to the small, the small lens here divided by the big lens. Small lens here of this triangle divided by the big lens of the triangle. Okay. This small lens now, this small lens now is equal to L minus 35. L minus 35. So again, how it looks like the equation? 8 divided by 15 will equal to L minus 35 divided by L minus 35 divided by L. The small, the 
similarity of the small triangle here and the big triangle at the top okay so let us write the equation 8 l is equal to 15 l minus 35 multiplied by 15 so minus 7 l is equal to minus 35 multiplied by 15 this minus will go by this minus so the big l will equal to 35 multiplied by 15 divided by 7 so the slant length here is equal to 75 the slant length here is 75 centimeters calculate the total surface area of outside of the planet plot the curved surface area of the cone is equal to the radius r uh, with radius r and the slant height l is equal to a equal to pi r l so we need the total surface area of the, of the outside uh, plan let us go ahead and see the planet what is the area he need the area he want is the big area here you see this big area of cone this is our big cone minus the small cone here which is small cone here will give us the surface area of the upper shape this is the only area we have no we have another area what is another area that we have we have this circle we have this circle area we need to add also this the area here of this circle so the big cone minus the small cone will give us the area of the upper part plus the circle at the bottom will give us the total surface area is equal to pi r big cone l big cone minus pi r small cone L small co plus pi r square which is the small area of the circle that we added here in this color okay so let us start to write the equation a is equal to pi r the big cone r of the big cone let us go up 15 and the r for the small cone is 8 so r for the big cone is 15 l of the big cone we just calculated here 75 minus pi r of r of the small cone is 8 r of the small cone is 8 multiplied by L of the small cone is this L L minus 20, 35 L minus 35 so here 75 minus 35 plus pi R square I square of this area is, of this circle is 8 R square of this circle is 8 square okay let us start to make our calculation so it's by 15 by 75 minus by 8 by 8 by 75 minus 35 close the small bracket close the big bracket plus pi multiplied by 8 square equal to so the area is let us write it so the area is to uh, 2730 centimeter square 
2730 cm square. 2730 cm square. Some cones are mathematically similar. For the disc, for these cones, the mass m grams is proportional to the cube of the base radius r. One of the cones has mass one uh, one thousand four hundred fifty eight grams, and the base radius is four point five centimeter. Find and find an expression for m in term of r. This question again is a similar question. He said that the mass. He said here the mass is proportional to the cubic of the base radius. So mass m has a relation with r cube. So we can we can write the equation m is equal to k r cube. When m we have here certain part we can find k. So when m is what one four five eight. The radius is the radius is four point five cubic. So k will equal to k will equal to. Let us start one four five eight divided by r four point five cube. So k is sixteen. So we can write the equation m is equal to 16 r cube, 16 r power 3. Two of cones have radius in the ratio 2 to 3. Write down the ratio of their mass. So r1 to r2 is equal to 2 to 3. M1 to M2 is equal to R1 cube to R3 to R2 cube. Why cube? Because he said here that the mass is proportional to the cubic root, the cube, the cubic of the radius. So it will be 2, 3, 2 power 3, 2, 3 power 3. So the ratio here will be 8 to 27. 8 to 27 okay so according to the written here in the question mass is proportionally to the cube of the radius so r1 cube to r2 cube let us go ahead to this question i have cone and i have sector the sector uh, radius OA, so this is the radius OA, is a part or uh, are joined to, to form a cone. So this sector is forming the cone. Calculate the base radius, the base radius of the cone. The curved surface area of the cone is A pi RL. So again, the length of the arc, which is length of arc, is equal to Theta divided by 360 multiplied 2 pi r. So it will be 55 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 pi. The radius is 50. So 55 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 15. This is the length of the arc, which will be 4.58 by. So this value will be 4.58 by. This arc length will be equal to the perimeter of the bottom circle. So 4.58 by will equal to 2 pi r of the cube. 2 pi r of the cone. So the radius will be answer 
divided by 2 so the radius will equal to 2.3 the radius is equal to 2.3 again the arc length the arc length will be equal to the perimeter of the perimeter of the cone the perimeter of the cone Calculate perpendicular height h of the cone. You need the perpendicular height h of the cone. Again, L squared is equal to h squared plus r squared. So, h is equal to square root of L squared minus r squared. So, it will be square root of L. L according to the given data here L is 15 so 15 squared minus 2.3 squared so it will be equal to square root of 15 square minus answer square which is 2.3 square so 14.82 is the height of the cone. 14.82 is the height of the cone.